Okay, my jacket is gonna be getting in it here soon. Oh my gosh, oh my, oh you guys. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at all of that. Are y'all seeing this? I know y'all see that. Wow. Hey, hey, what's up you guys? You have made it to another episode out here at Wood Creek. You guys, I know you're not gonna believe it, but it has been a month and 10 days. So it's been 40 days, you guys, since we've been out here to Wood Creek. Now, it is actually drizzling. As you can see, the mist from the cars, it actually started raining sort of heavy a few minutes ago. But I got on, <laughs> I got on this rain jacket that I brought. I'm probably not gonna get a chance to be out here alone because I have something to do in a little while. And I probably, all right, <laughs> I probably uh, won't have much to do from the way things are looking already. Because when I look out here, you guys, wow, the water level is extremely low. Extremely low, you guys. I'm looking over there where the dam is and I don't see anything built over there. I'm gonna go on the other. Oh, okay. No, I'm good. I appreciate you. <laughs> oh, fella was checking on me there. I, I don't know who he was, but he, he was looking out for me. Anyway, like I said, the water level is extremely low right now. And I'm probably hollering because the cars are so loud. I don't have to talk as loud as I am. I know. But one day at work, I rode by here and I saw the water level over here on the other side of the road. And I was blown away, you guys. Like it looks totally, totally different from how it looked when we were last out here. Look at this, you guys. Let's see what we can do. But yeah, you guys, you see all of this right here? COVID is right here, but the water level is up much higher than it's supposed to be <laughs> and so i said to myself i said man we might can go down there now and possibly see if that dam is still there do you guys see this i hope y'all can see it clear i know there's rain all over the lens of the gopro but check it out you guys it looks it looks good out here I want to see how deep it is. It's probably too deep. I know y'all saw the last episode. I actually did try to get in the water on the other side, but it was too deep over there. So that was a fail on that side of the road. And it's probably going to be the same way over here. But look, man, look at this. That is, that's, that's beautiful. That's how it's supposed to look. That is how it's supposed to look, you guys. So, let's see what we are working with here. I'm gonna stick close to the, ooh, to the edge. Okay, okay. I don't hear any water crashing though, like we did the other day. Okay, it's getting a little bit deeper. Woo! Oh, it gets deeper right there too. Okay, my jacket is gonna be getting in it here soon. Oh my gosh, oh my, oh you guys. That is crazy, hold up, let me see. Whew. Now see, I'm getting deep because I feel pressure. I feel pressure on my chest waders. When I feel pressure on my chest waders like that, I know that it's deep. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at all of that. Are y'all seeing this? I know y'all see that. Wow, yeah, that's something. Uh, Troopy told, I don't think I wanna walk over there. That's, yeah, that's, that's a little deeper than uh, I feel safe messing with. 
I think I might try and go down on that side over there though. Y'all see how deep the potato rake is? That is insane though, man. That's a that's a whole wall of mud there. Wow. That's why it's no longer making a sound because the water levels come down below that dirt. So, wow. And if you've been watching the videos, we've had seven inches of rain within the last month. So that's probably another reason why the water is this high right here. All right, we're gonna head back up. Like I said, man, there's like some serious, and it's probably cause I hadn't been moving around in the chest waders, but like, it's like the chest wader pants legs are glued to my legs. A serious kind of pressure. <laughs> So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fool with that. Nah, not right now anyway. Maybe if the water level goes down, I can maybe try it again. Oh, those are thorns. I don't wanna be uh, brushing up against. Yes. It's looking good, you guys. Mm. I know people looking at me like I'm crazy with my, with my orange and my yellow on. <laughs> All right, let's go down over here. If we can get down over here. See how it feels. If there's water on the lens, I'm sorry. I don't want to wipe it because it might make it worse. Okay, I got to be careful because this right here will fool you. This stuff is sort of viney. Oh yeah, okay. Feels a little more solid over here. I, I find it hard to believe that the beavers did that. Okay, it drops right here. All right, we gotta be careful. We gotta be careful, you guys. Okay, there's a hot spot right here. Ooh, okay. I feel like that right there gives away. That would fool me. Okay, there's a hot spot there. There's a hot spot there. I, I mean, but y'all see this, right? That is insane. That is insane, you guys. Okay, it feels like it drops right there. I, I be feeling around with this potato rake, man. This ain't nothing to play with. We might make it. We might. I don't want to speak too soon, though. Okay, I think, I think I'm at the cement. Or some rocks. Or something. Or it gets low right there. It gets low. Oh wow you guys this is this is another level right here this is another level this is <laughs> this is another level oh it stinks too oh wee oh my goodness the beavers did do this look at the sticks on the other side Oh, I know it's done got dark on y'all, didn't it? Oh my goodness, you guys. That is insane. Let me uh let me take you off the headband right quick. Alright, so I brightened the screen on the GoPro a little bit. Maybe it helped a little bit, but uh yo, this is uh this is another level here. 
the thing is something like this right here <laughs> you need water pressure to help you you need water pressure to help you get that mud out of here like you need the water to be crashing over there but that would never happen being that the water's flowing over there now and it's got a good outlet with the dams tore out so i don't know i definitely don't have time to do this today i really just wanted to come see if we can see uh what was going on here my backpack keeps hitting the uh, hitting the wall up here but wow man <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take my backpack off so I can climb over this stuff. I wanna walk to, uh, I guess, ah, uh, uh. ooh, boy, oh boy, that right there is a mess. That'll poke me all up too, I'm not careful. And I know y'all's visual is bad because of the dark, but, uh, Oh, the water actually, oh, the water is still sort of. Oh, okay. It's still sort of deep. It's, ooh. Ooh, wait a minute. You guys, the water's about to come to my knees over here. So that means that Wait a minute, I still ain't touched the ground. Okay, now I'm touching the ground. Wow, the water is still above my knees. So that means that there's still a good amount of water uh, that has to drain out this way. That explains why I couldn't make it through over here on this side. This is so sketchy, man. This is so sketchy. Yeah, the water shouldn't be this high. Oh, oh, wait a minute, it drops off right there. Yep. Okay, it drops right there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. It drops to a lower level. Is that the dirt or is that, ooh, ooh, oh no, nope. Not stepping down there, you guys. <laughs> That's the fun, this is the furthest I'm going. So that lets us know that we need more water to drain out that way. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, hold up. All right, I believe y'all can see halfway okay. <laughs> But, wow, man, okay. Yeah, I'm about to get on out of here. I need to go and check on the creek further down where the dams are before I leave. Like I said, I got something I gotta do, so I'm not even going to try and tackle this right now. Wow. I mean, <laughs> oh, this, this is just crazy to me. Now we just gotta figure out how we can get back up. Without tearing a hole in the chest waders. This right here might be better if I go ahead and throw the potato rake up there so I can have both of my hands. The beavers had a work, work here. And people wondering why I be tearing out dams. Cause they building dams in the wrong place by the roads 
we don't want this this is not what you want now if they was like way way back there i wouldn't mess with nothing you know way back there or whatever unless it was causing a problem but yeah okay let me grab my backpack and we're gonna try and get out of here safely you know it's always easy coming in because you you be having an adrenaline rush be excited and going back you get fearful <laughs> it's like oh no <laughs> okay but we got to continue to to feel our way make sure that we have a ooh, ooh, have a sure footing <clears throat> There must be like some kind of rocks or something here. Oops, I just dip, <laughs> dip my glove down in the water. Right, we're gonna make it you guys, we are going to make it. Yes. We have made it. <laughs> so like I hear somebody riding a four-wheeler. Come on, potato rake. It's a pretty steep ditch. Uh, now we know what it looks like in there. All right, it's safe to go on across. Like I said, I tried to go in the water over there on that side and over here as well. Last time I was here. Where's my entrance? Right here. Look at this, you guys. Still got victory here. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, that's actually got a little depth to it right there. We do need to, we, we need to get that wider for sure. We need to get that wider. Oh, there's a little bit of stuff down in there. Okay, so maybe the water level from the rain got so high, it sort of washed over what they started rebuilding. Just like at the other dams. <clears throat> Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, man, that thing bigger than... Huh, bigger than I realized. And definitely heavier, too.
I'm not doing much, man. Not doing much, even though now would be a good time to dig some more. Yep, that right there definitely needs to get out of there too. But anyway, let's uh, let's walk over here. Uh-huh, all dried up you guys, all dried up. The water is flowing where it's supposed to. I'm telling you though, this was about to become its own creek. I guess this is how you get all kind of crazy water channels in the woods because when the beavers dam it up, look at this, there's a channel the channel over there wow look at this they got it dammed up over here trying to keep it from going out that way i guess that's running right beside where we uh tore out down there I mean, look at that man this right here definitely Looks like it's trying to become a whole nother creek. <laughs> that is a lot of water over there though. <laughs> a lot of water. You gotta see episode one. I'm not gonna go back across the road right now, or am I? For real, man. <laughs> I mean, this right here looks like it was definitely about to be what we would have thought was the original creek i mean look at how the tree roots are grown down but yet the water has washed through there and got it almost looking normal man wow crazy oh 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 you guys you guys y'all see that do y'all see that should I walk over there? Oh, <laughs> you got, I'm thinking somebody probably shot the beaver. <laughs> somebody shot the beaver, you guys. Because if an animal killed it, it would have ate it. Look at this. Oh. The beaver is no longer with us. Ooh, that smells right. Yeah, if, if something would have, uh, an animal would have attacked it, it would have ate it. Well, that might explain, <laughs> that might explain why there's no rebuild. Oh, poor beaver. I feel a little bit sorry for it, you guys. I feel, a, I feel a little bit sorry for it. I ain't gonna have it all up in the camera. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, 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 well. I guess I, our, uh, our enemy has been taken out. <laughs> Oh, I can see some of the dam in the culvert there. My, 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 you guys. I guess there definitely ain't gonna be no rebuild now unless there's another one over here. But that's all right. That is a okay.
I'm just gonna walk to the two dams closest here. I'm not going deep in the woods. That right there was looking sort of fresh. Wow, look, look at how the water had washed up on the bank here. I don't know, if, I guess that's from when we uh, opened it up. Yeah, it had to be. That had to be from when we opened it up. Right here is the dam where we didn't capture the first portion of me removing all that wood. It's still flowing. And then around here. Yeah, you can tell there's been some flow through here. It almost looks like beach sand. Still flowing on down there. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of water flowing through here. Yeah, oh, this is from that rain, you guys. For the water level to be this high and flowing strong like that, there's a lot of water coming from over there. So I'm, I'm thinking if we come back in a few days, things are definitely be more feasible as far as working in that culvert even though it would be nice to have the water to help us out I need to take this rain jacket off. I'm getting sort of hot in it now. <laughs> All right, you guys, man, I'm about to get on out of here. I'm pleased with how it looks. And I was just thinking about the old beaver. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Oh man, it just reminds me of how you never know when death is gonna hit. That's another reason why it's good to know that you have been born again, that you've been saved, that you put your faith in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. I don't fear death, you guys. I used to fear death, but now I don't fear death because I have confidence in the word of God that I read that says that one day I will be with Jesus because I have put my faith, my trust in him. Jesus said, in my house are many mansions. In other words, in heaven there's plenty of room for anybody who chooses to put their faith in Jesus as their Lord and Savior. He went away to prepare that place just for us, just for you, just for me, because he loves us. And that's why I don't fear death. I welcome death. As a matter of fact, I'm ready. I'm ready for that time with confidence, with no fear that my soul is saved and that when I leave this earthly body, I will be present with the Lord.
it's my prayer and my heart's desire that you also know within yourself where you would go if you were to die. Jesus is the only way, the truth and the life. No man can come unto the Father but by Jesus Christ the Son. I almost feel like I'm preaching a funeral now here. <laughs> I'm preaching a funeral for the beaver, you guys. <laughs> now we know that the beaver ain't going <laughs> to heaven or hell. His life is done with. So he ain't got to worry about it. But uh, wow. <laughs> I am preaching the funeral for the beaver. And I mean, at funerals, whenever I preach at a funeral, I always preach a message for those who are still living because the dead can't hear me. It's too late when you're dead. It's too late. So you need to hear this message while you're alive. While you're alive and in your mind to where you can receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. The Bible says that if you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that he died and was raised from the grave for your sin, that you will be saved. You put your faith in him and you'll be saved. And you'll have that same confidence that I have. My, my, my. Thank God for Jesus. Anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching on today. Throw a comment in the comment section. Let me know what's on your mind. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. You guys stay blessed. You guys keep encouraged. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.